What's up, everybody? Jay-Z and Rajasby's We just filled up 2019 20 Panini basketball, uh, Prism basketball, that is, 20 box blaster case break. And I know it says number three on your screen, but this is break number two. 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 <laughs> uh, we couldn't, uh, couldn't save the last uh, sell sheet here. So, as you can see, we uploaded number three. And we're already down to nine left in number three. So I'm sure that'll pop off tonight. But again, this is Chasing Zion, a lot of other big rookies in this class. And again, this is the Blaster Edition. And you get two random teams per spot. So 15 total spots, two random teams. And remember, no veteran, common ship, everything else will ship. And again, this is number two, guys. So let's roll the dice. This customer name, some David Bruins down to Jason. And you got Hawks down to the Wizards. Let's roll it. And we got a three and a three six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times. Vasilis. Down to Vasilis. All right, let's go six times down here as well. On the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times. Dallas down to Boston. And Vasilis. You have the Mavericks, Pistons, Kings, Magic, and Pelicans. There you go. Charles, you have the Wizards. John with the Grizzlies. Jason, you have the T-Wolves. Last Ball Mojo, David with the Bucks. Vasilis with the Spurs. John with the Raptors. Dennis with the Nuggets. Jason, Last Ball Mojo with the Hornets. Vasilis with the Pacers. John with the Knicks, Bulls, and Cavs. Vasilis with the Lakers as well as the Hawks. Charles with the Thunder. Vasilis with the Nets, Warriors. Dennis with the Suns. Vasilis with the 76ers. David with the Jazz. John with the Blazers. Vasilis with the Heat, Clippers, Rockets, and Celtics. So let's alphabetize it by team first name. And I'll allow a little trade window if you guys would like. If you guys want to make any trades. If not, we'll print and rip.
All right, guys. Trade winner gloves. Nobody wanted to trade, so let's print and rip. Nice, Stephen K. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Sean? Thank you. And, uh, yeah, guys, Nick was wanting me to tell you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but we added some break credit to uh, the optic break. Optic football half case break. If we sell it out tonight only, we'll give away $75 in break credit. So if you guys want to give that a shot. All right, guys, here's the blaster. Let's open this up. Let's actually flip it this way. Whoa. some room here guys all right let's rip open some of these blaster boxes so again i should be done with this within the next 20 25 minutes we may be off schedule just a little bit but uh these upcoming breaks after don't take too long about 10 15 minutes each one so should be good to go We'll rip five blasters at a time. Thank you, guys. There's no guarantee of an autograph. There's one autograph or memorabilia card. Um, but at least there is one memorabilia card. But if there is an autograph, there is opportunities. But again, you can chase some nice silvers and parallels through these blasters without spending the pricey box price of a hobby box. Obviously, hobbies ex have exclusives, and so does blasters. Green Pulsar and Purple Wave. So you'll be able to get those two type of variations, inserts, only in these blaster boxes. That's what makes them kind of popular and a fun chase. And much more affordable as well. So there's four, we'll take on one more to make it five. Sean says, went out to uh, Bungalow in Huntington Beach, NYE, and the Chargers decided to show up. Really? That's cool. Was that like a public type of venue? Is that why? Just popping bottles, having a good time. Melvin Gordon was at the game yesterday. Obviously a Wisconsin alum. It's kind of fun talking, seeing the... Wisconsin Badger fans there. A lot of them did fly out from Wisconsin. Which is kind of cool, you know? But also, there was a lot of uh, Oregon fans that flew out from Oregon as well. But Wisconsin's a little, little ways. I'm sure a lot of them were very happy. I remember seeing one of these, like, probably college girls that were like, Man, I love this weather. I need to move to Cali. <laughs> I bet you in Wisconsin right now, it was not 70 degrees. But it was beautiful football weather yesterday. The sunset was awesome. Rose Bowl game is one of the best bowl games in college football. Nice. 
Nice. Actually, if that if this is the Mike Davis that I'm thinking of, I believe my sister and my friend, my buddy, my sister's boss, Gary, they do Mike Davis's uh, taxes every year. Andre Drummond. I remember last time I remember him saying he played for the Chargers. They go Detroit. But yeah, I've seen him at the office a couple times. Ooh, there you go. Right off the bat, a Zion Williamson silver. Nice. There you go. That's the way to start off the break. A little silver out of a blaster. There you go. Vasilis, I believe, had the Pelicans. Nice. Is there a base right behind it? Oh, there is. <laughs> there is one, Nick. You're right. How about that? That's a good way to start off. First box. I know, what a nice blaster box. Imagine someone hitting that in the store. Kevin Knox. They'd be extremely happy paying that price. Emergent, Brandon Clark. Dominance, Donovan Mitchell. Ooh, and a John Morant Silver in the second box. A little off-center, but still very nice. Memphis, John S. Woo! What are first two boxes? <laughs> what if every other box is just a John Moran silver and a, and a and a Zion? Wouldn't that be crazy? Brandon Clark, Memphis. All right, the rest of this case is gonna be not gonna be so good now, <laughs> just because I jinxed it. And we got Montrez Harrell, Sean Kemp, Brian Clark, Cat, Car Anthony Towns for uh, Minnesota, Jason, Last Ball Mojo, Kevin Durant Silver, RJ Barrett rookie well I'm assuming Easton stick just blends in with everybody right it's not that I don't think so many people maybe besides you and like real Charger fans know what he looks like ooh a little green pulse or John Morant very nice You got Akeem Olajuwon, NBA Essentials. And Robin Lopez, followed by a little Trey Young Silver. Nice. Next blaster. Um, they do, but the, the, the purple wave are not numbered. They're just, uh, they're just rare. Yeah. But if you get like a Zion wave or a John Morant wave, it's pretty cool. Then the green pulses are just normal. They're not numbered to 25. Maybe the odds are. Yeah, I think some of them are numbered, maybe. Because 
you get? What is it? Green Pulsar and Purple Wave Prisms. Oh, that one. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is just a green. They have so many different names for these now, guys. It's just kind of confusing. Unless you, like, really study it, you'll know, right? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Roger, roger. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're all just crazy names. I'm just going to call it green until someone says green poster when it's number 25. Did it really, AJ? Nice. We'll add it to the break schedule. So that'll go after Flawless. So after this, we'll do the Lamar. Then we'll do the, con the Lamar Contenders. Then we'll do Flawless Pikachu number two. And then we can probably squeeze in the Blaster break there. And then Nick said, yeah, you put in a Fast Break. And then also, guys, as Nick said, I told you about earlier when Nick said, he adding $75 in break credit, we fill up the random team of Optic Football. It's also early bird, too, so there's still plenty of spots you can chase to get a free spot. So early bird plus some break credit. Man, sign me up. There you go. Nick also posted up the next Lamar as well. That'll be from a fresh enter. Yes. All right. Let's go with the next box. We got Steven Adams. Relic. Kevin Porter Jr. Green. No Lamar number 11, Alfred Payton. We just had uh, Josh Allen and Josh Rosen. Ooh, a little John Morant. There you go. A little relic. Nice break for Memphis in this case. Uh, John. Harrison Barnes. James Harden Green. Emergent BJ Washington. John Wall. Will Barton. Kevin Love for the Cavs. John, you have the Cavs as well. And we got Quindary Weatherspoon for the Spurs Silver. It's going to Vasilis. Eric Gordon. We got Jordan Bone. Emergent PJ Washington. Oh, this is blaster case number two, Mark. 
They activated JJ Watts. I'm assuming he's gonna play. All right, Mark Norris. Will Fuller, I just feel like, can never stay healthy. Ever since his rookie year, right? I feel like that dude's always hurt. I just think you needed the right system, Nick. This, uh, this offense with Tennessee just fits them pretty well. Hopefully that happens to Mariota too. It's just kind of tough, man, because there's a lot of good quarterbacks coming in. <laughs> Probably will. He'll have to be like he'll have to be like uh, like Tannehill, backup role that maybe could turn into a to a to a starter. But I think he'd be a solid backup, honestly. And he's still only like what twenty six or twenty seven, so still pretty young. Ah. But yeah, there's some good teams out there that are kind of like in the river situation, right? Let's say. I mean, because remember, if Brady's gone next year, then that is a big opening over there. Whether he likes Stidham or not, you know, or whoever they have in the Patriots. Like, that's a big opening where it could be a dice roll. Chargers could be a big opening for a lot of teams. You know, Chicago, even though they said Mitch Trubisky would be the starter, I mean, that's not forever, right? Carolina's a big opening. Like, there's <laughs> there's actually a lot of big openings, like, for teams. There's, what, at least a good four or five. But most of these teams will be probably drafting. You know, obviously Cincinnati will probably be drafting, right? That's another opening. So it just depends. <laughs> yeah, what, is Win what did Winston say? If you look at my numbers... I'm balling. Like, yeah, dude. Jeez. I think the Steelers option may be opening up soon, too, right? Oh, did I double this one up? I think I doubled it up by accident. I think it should be like that. Although, I think this one may have an auto. No, they all have both. There is Basley. So, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Maybe a lot of movement this year. RJ Barrett. John Morant. I'm 
Well, that's one thing I heard today in the morning. I think I heard it from Colin Coward. That imagine if Brady were to go to Indianapolis and they just kind of swap or something. You know? In a way. I did Brady under a Colts. <laughs> That'd be weird. Hashimura. There you go. Wizards going to Charles. Fiondu. What team will honestly give Eli Manning a starting job? You think it'll be like it's Luca? You think it'll be like a team with a with a really really young quarterback? Cause you know, I remember Eli says that he doesn't want to he doesn't want to be a backup, right? So like, where where would Eli land in all of this if he's trying to be a starter? Gasol. I know, I think so too, but because I don't know who would really give him a starting job. The only way I see it is if he's like grooming the next quarterback, you know what I mean? Like, it's like a, like a Joe Burrow, you know, gets drafted or something and you don't want him to start right away. <laughs> Alley Wildcats, I know, right? Yeah, scoot over Luis Perez. But you know what I mean? Like, who? I, that's the only way I see it. Yeah, or maybe like, yeah, like a Dolphin situation. I don't know. You know, he's kind of just like being the next guy up. Because, I mean, he's not going to be a starter for that much longer. Kind of in the situation he was this year with Daniel Jones. I actually really like, um, what's his name? The rookie from Denver. Blanking my mind right now. Drew Lock. He has a can. He seems to be a little bit more accurate, but other than that, he's mobile too. Yeah, I heard about Alex. Yeah, because Alex Smith is rehabbing like crazy, right? He can come back soon, too. But who's going to give him the starting job? Or who's going to give him a job? I mean, I think Alex Smith would, would be a backup. I don't think he's trying to be a full-time starter. Although, not everybody's planning to be a backup. I'm sure everybody wants to intend to start. But I think Alex Smith is down to go to a team that will need a nice backup, which would be pretty solid. I mean, that leg injury was gruesome, but... We'll have to see, right? Not really talking about it, guys. There is a lot of openings for quarterbacks. Or at least potential quarterback uh, competition. In a way. You know? And there's some teams that are, are just a quarterback away from making the playoffs. Being a contender. Last five boxes are here. Yeah, well, was it only three? Because if Tua comes out, you have Tua, you have Joe Burrow, 
Unless Joe Burrow shocks us and doesn't come out, but I doubt it, right? And then the other, who's the other three? Was you talking about the Oregon guy? I thought that was more than three. But at least three, yeah, I guess there is. Only th what? Is there only three? I thought there was more than that. Oh, Fromm, that's right. Fromm's probably going to come out, so there's four, right? But at least three will be perked in the first round. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Although Fromm is pretty, pretty good, too. Yeah, he's, he's coming out, too. There's another one coming out that just announced this past week. I don't know if it was Easton or Easton, sorry. Some other quarterback announced he was coming out. But the two one, I think we're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna find out on Monday. I think it is. He's having a press conference on Monday at six or something. I think I stacked up a box right there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we got Clay Thompson. Nikhil Alexander Walker. LeBron Silver. I heard these are signed for like 75 bucks. It's crazy. Who has the Lakers? Vasilis. Goran Dragic. And we got Jalen Hands. Dennis Smith Jr. Well, I wonder if you, you got to think the Wisconsin Badges running back is going to come out. The dude won the Doak Walker Award his first two years. I was like, what? I didn't realize he was that good. Yeah, I think he, I think he pretty much broke 2,000 yards this year, right? He's a good running back, too. But I don't know if he's going to come out. He's a sophomore, right? And Darius Basley, the 25. There's one of those green pulsers, right? Uh, that's Thunder, Charles. And then we got Jordan Bone. Dobbins is really good. I like that guy. He he just announced too, didn't he? Chris Levert. Ty Jerome Silver. Dragic Relic. And there you go, guys. So, some of the bigger hits here, guys. We got one of those green posters. And here are some of the bigger ones. John Morant, Silver, Zion, Zion, Silver. And, of course, you got one relic in each box. And a lot of other silvers and numbered cards will be penny sleeve top loading. This was Prism Blaster Case Break number two. Number three is actually in our store but already sold out. So we can get the next one going a little bit later. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Next break coming up is uh, Chase Lamar and Contenders Optic uh, Football. Uh, Random Teams number 12. Appreciate it, guys.